Hello everybody, welcome to the Chenzor Dynasty. My name is James Chen. You are watching twitch.tv slash jchenzor. And it's been a while since I've done a little bit of a stream here. So it's uh, been a while since you've seen some Chen reactions on YouTube. But that's because I was at Evo Japan and I was doing all sorts of fun stuff in Japan. So I'm going to talk about my Japan trip a lot after I talk about the main subject here. So if you want to see the segment where I go over all of the cool stuff that I did in Japan, uh, make sure you check the YouTube channel, find the other half of this video, and you can see all the cool stuff. I'm just going to talk about the trip, do some recaps, talk about the rhythm games that I played, talk about the museums that I visited, etc., etc., the food that I ate, and all that jazz. But for here right now, uh, normally this is where I would be doing the Chen reaction. I guess you could call this a Chen reaction, but what I'm going to do here is talk about the Chenzor Dynasty coming up for the year 2020. I have a lot of plans here. I'm going to put out an official schedule. I'm going to try to stick by the schedule as much as I possibly can. And I would love to have feedback from you guys about what you would like to see other than the stuff that I've uh, scheduled out here. But I'm going to try to be consistent with the schedule. I'm going to go over the schedule with you guys so that you can see, so you can find out what I'm going to do. So basically, the plan is this. I'm going to try to stream at 4 p.m. Pacific time every weekday. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Not Tuesday, and I'll get into that for a second. But Monday, Wednesday, f Thursday, and Friday. I'm going to try my best to stream at 4 p.m. Pacific time and start at around that point. Now, obviously, if I have doctor's appointments or whatever comes up, or if I'm traveling, I'm not going to be able to stream on a Friday or a Monday if I'm, you know, on a plane, etc., etc. But as long as I'm home, I am going to stream on those days. Now, the way that I plan to do this is that uh, I'm going to start most of the streams with the Chen reaction and the Q&A section. That should last for about an hour and a half, and then I'm going to jump to some other stuff. So a lot of the other kind of streams that I'm going to do, for example, the main one that I am bringing back is First Attack. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with First Attack, this is the stream where I go over the basic, basic fighting game concepts and then we'll work my way towards more advanced stuff. This is going to try to be the year where I really make a definitive series of videos to help people learn how to play fighting games in a very cohesive pre-planned out order. I already know the first few episodes of First Attack I'm going to do and they're all related like they, they're going to progress in a little bit of a story. I'll go over what that is, for example, in a little bit. It's going to be really, uh, um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun talking about a lot of those things. And yeah, I can even go way more, way more basic if you guys need me to. As I do the episodes, I want feedback from you guys to let me know what other things I should uh cover. I will be doing the first attack streams here and then I'll be trying to edit them down to a little bit of a shorter length for YouTube. But I'll go over the topics what I uh what I'm going to go over in just a little bit. Now, I'm also going to try to do FGC history streams now. Thank you AJP Brooks for the subscription. I'm going to be doing FGC history streams. Now, these are the streams where I'm going to go over the Alpha series finally on the 30th anniversary, uh, you know, machine. I'm going to try to get guests onto the stream so I can just talk to them. Very difficult to do because of distance and traffic and weekdays here in Southern California. Maybe I'll have to Skype people in or something like that. Uh, but I'm going to try to see what I can to do and talk about old school stuff, even if it's just myself talking about, you know, how unbalanced certain games were, etc., etc. Uh, I'm going to try to get some Unchensored episodes going again. I need to just find the right uh, topics for that. I haven't done an Unchensored in a while because I just haven't felt like there's been a topic that I've been angry enough about. <laughs> 
to do an Unchensored. So I, I'm gonna have to try to find out things that really grind my goats. And uh, I don't know what the hell grind my goats means, but I'm gonna try to find some topics to really get into the Unchensored stuff. Like if you really want me to talk about you know, healthcare in the United States. Trust me, I can start going off on that really, really badly. Uh, roofs, water damage in homes, for sure. I can talk about all these things. Uh, accessibility, yeah, I can talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, then I'm gonna have the uh, streams where I'm just playing fighting games, right? So after the Chen reaction and the Ask Jay Chenzor sections are done, uh, I'm just gonna have streams where I play and keep trying to learn fighting games because there's 7,000 fighting games at this point in time. So uh, we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, I already did dishwashers, not a con. I already did dish dishwashers. Um, the other ones that I want to do here, there's going to be the Chenzor Dojos, which I'm going to try to do consistently uh, once a week and change the game back and forth of what we're doing. So. Basically what the Chenzor Dojo is, is I set up lobbies for beginner players to play against each other. And after they finish playing, uh, I give advice. I try to help people understand what they're doing wrong. It's aimed for beginners. So if you are an expert player or if you are a strong enough player to make it into like platinum or ultra gold or something like that, you're probably too good for this. Uh, but, you know, it'll focus on Samurai Showdown. I'll probably do some Street Fighter V as well. Once the new games come out, maybe I'll do some Chenzor Dojos for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, uh, for Guilty Gear Strive, etc., etc. So, um... That'll be uh, hopefully very helpful to everybody. Um, kind of on that subject here, I also want to do beginner lobbies as well. But these, the difference between the Chenzo Dojo and the beginner lobbies is that the beginner lobbies is I'm trying to learn the game too. And so basically I just play with viewers. I just set up a lobby. We play. And uh, I try to learn, you try to learn, we're all trying to learn, so I'll probably set those up for some of the newer games like Guilty Gear Strive, etc, etc. Uh, I can do a Samurai Showdown lobby on the Switch when it comes out on Switch. We'll see if I can find enough players willing to join that. I'll try the PC version as well. Maybe in one day I'll switch between them or something like that. But those beginner lobbies are something that I plan to do. I used to do that for Guilty Gear, so I'm planning to bring that back uh, for a lot of games now, for different games. Another one is FGC Rewind. This is another show that I want to do where basically I just watch tournament footage that I missed from the weekend, stuff that people have recommended to me that I really should check out from this tournament this past weekend that I didn't see. And we can watch it together and I'll commentate it and, you know, just kind of uh, analyze it, point out things that people are doing and just kind of have a good time watching and enjoying some good matches uh, basically from the fighting game tournaments out there. Now, uh, the one thing that's interesting is I, I also, these are all going to be daytime streams that I've talked about. So like I said, 4 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. is going to be the goal. So three and a half hour stream is the goal. Then if I have the chance, if I have the ability to, I will also do night streams. Now the night streams are going to be a little bit more randomized, okay? The night streams are just going to be whatever I feel like playing at the time. I could play more fighting games. I could do the Indie Army Now series where I play indie games again. I could do random game James where I'm just playing whatever the hell game uh, comes across my desk that I feel like playing. Uh, Zelda and chill is always still an option, uh, although if I ever get far enough in Zelda, it'll change to Final Fantasy 15 and chill, which will change into Death Stranding and chill, or, or whatever it is, uh, you know, yeah, Untitled Goose Game, etc, etc. Uh, I will be playing a lot of Teppen and Final Fantasy Record Keeper on the stream at night as well. So there's just a lot of options that I have for nighttime streams. Now, uh, I generally haven't streamed during the weekends. 
but uh, I'm going to stream during the weekends every once in a while. And if I do streams on the weekends, they're going to be different streams. They're going to be completely wild random stuff. So my weekend streams are going to be like karaoke streams. I might do karaoke streams again. Uh, I'll probably go back to the Phoenix Wright voice acting streams on the weekend. Uh, lots of stuff. Shout out to B Mikey P for the subscription. Thank you very much. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of other streams too that I don't know if these are things that people want to see. So I don't know how to fit them in quite yet. But what I want to do is, a if I have the opportunity, I might do a Unity learning stream where I actually start learning Unity and we'll, I'll stream myself learning it so that we could all learn it together and people can also help me with that. So I can just kind of learn how to make games and stuff uh, if that's something that comes into play. I was thinking about doing Ring Fit Adventure streams because I've been told people want to see me play Ring Fit Adventure because people just want to see me suffer. So uh, I might do that. I may even have some IRL stream. Oh, Unity is one of the game programming languages. Uh, Unity is probably the more user-friendly one that you can use to create your own video games. And so that's kind of what I want to do. Uh, that, that's something that I thought about going into. Uh, I, I'm really curious if people want to see this, if I'm ever just bored and I'm lying on the sofa and a cat jumps on me, if you guys want me to do an IRL stream where I snuggle cats and just talk with you guys. If you guys want to see cat snuggling streams, I will definitely do that. Wow, there you go. Shared emotes. Look at this. Look at this. And thank you for the subscription, Semi-Efficient. For both Semi-Efficient and Be Mikey P, suck my nuts! Hope you guys know what the inside joke on that one is. So here's going to be the meat of this thing. So basically, uh, what, what's going to happen here is that uh, most days are going to start with a chain reaction where I just talk about a topic and then I'll transition over to Ask Jay Chensor. And then uh, after Ask Jay Chensor is done, I am going to move into one of the other topics here. So on Mondays, for example, we'll start with a Chen reaction, Ask Jay Chen's, or then I will do beginner lobbies and the FGC rewind. So uh, that's the idea right there. So it's either going to be beginner lobbies or FGC rewind. Tuesday is going to be the Tuesday show on twitch.tv slash ultra Chen TV. So I'm not going to be doing any streams on the on twitch.tv slash jchenzor. It will just be uh, it'll just be the Tuesday show on Tuesday. That's the way that it works right there. And then on Wednesday, what I'm going to do is again the Chen reaction plus ask jchenzor. And then on this day will probably most likely be the day that I just play uh, a fighting game on stream, etc., etc. So this will probably me be just be me playing the game. Uh, Ultra Chen TV is uh, the channel that David and I stream on. David also streams on there himself all the time, and that's where we do the Tuesday show on Tuesdays where we talk about fighting game news, tournament results, the 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 the, the topics of the day of the weeks, etc, etc. And then on Thursday, same thing. Back to Jay Chenzor, uh, I'm sorry, Chen reaction and Jay Chenzor. However, Thursdays is where I'm going to be doing First attacks and FGC history. This is where I. This is probably going to be the day a lot of people are going to want to see, want to watch. This is where first attack is going to be. Now, first attack, I'm going to try to keep it pretty brief, so uh, the episodes won't be too long, so they're short and easier to digest. But that's kind of the plan right here. Is that on Thursday is where you will expect to see uh, the first attack episodes. 
Uh, every once in a while, if I can get something set up for an FGC history, I'll try to do that as well. Basically, thir Thursday is educational day. Is educational day. And then on Friday will not be a Chen reaction and ask Chen, uh, ask Jay Chenzor, but we'll just go straight into a Chenzor dojo. Just go into a straight up a Chenzor dojo. So Night Slash, for those of you who are unfamiliar with First Attack, First Attack was a stream that I started eight years ago, which was just me teaching fighting games at the highest beginner level as possible, just talking about concepts. I'm going to go into First Attack a little bit more to give you guys an idea of what I plan to do with that. So this is going to be the schedule here uh, for the most part. And then, like I said, at nights, oh, come on, at nights, uh, night time, I will do, uh, I will do, for example, the Zelda and Chill, Teppen, FFRK, Indie Army now, uh, uh, random game, James, etc. So that's going to be the night stream. Now, what a lot of people are wondering right here, right now, is that, um, is there going to be, wh where's Unchenzored? Where's Unchenzored? Well, the day that I have Unchenzored topics, they will replace the Chen Reaction plus ask Jay Chenzor for the day. So if I have an unchenzor topic, Gen Reaction and Ask Jay Chenzor will not happen, and I'll just do unchenzored instead for about an hour and a half. And that's basically it right there. So that's where the unchenzored streams are gonna come in. And again, as I said, on weekends, will be karaoke and Phoenix Wright voice acting, maybe ring fit, etc., etc. But there you go. This is the intended schedule. And what I hope to do is to keep myself honest to the schedule. By putting the schedule out there, by creating this expectation, and again, this is all going to be at 4 p.m. Pacific time uh, on every weekday. 4 p.m. Pacific time every weekday on twitch.tv slash jchenzor, jchenzor. And there you go. That's kind of the schedule that I have planned. Now, if there are other kinds of content that people would like to see from me, uh, I could do that as well. But this is generally the idea here that I have for the stream schedule for 2020. And again, I, I, I want you guys to hold me accountable for this. I want you guys to call me out if I miss any of these schedules. But by putting it out there, I'm on the hook for a lot of this. So yeah, uh, nighttime could also be Tetris practice as well. Tetris, so there you go, Tetris. I'm gonna talk a little bit about first attack uh, because this is important. What I really want people to see is how I'm going to do this. So first attack, once again, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, if you go to youtube.com slash TV, you'll see a lot of my old first attack episodes. If you do a search for first attack, you'll find a lot of the episodes there. They're very long. They cover a lot of information. I have a whiteboard. I use slides from PowerPoint and all sorts of things like that. And that is all coming back. And I'm going to be teaching topics that I feel are very important for learning fighting games. And I'm going to do it all over again from the start. And uh, just to outline a little bit of the stuff that I'm going to do, and this is going to keep changing as it's going, but, but for example, the first fighting game, first attack stream I'm going to do is talking about 
how fighting games are a two-player game. It's one of the most important concepts, and I think a lot of people don't play it that way. Even though they think they're playing a two-player game, they're not really playing a two-player game. So that's kind of the first topic where I'm going to talk about the goals. Like, what are your even goals when you play a fighting game? And, you know, the concept of mind, body, and heart when you're playing fighting games and how to do that. And then that's going to move on to the neutral. The neutral is going to talk a little bit about footsies, ranges, distances, and attack vectors. And then I'm going to have whole entire episodes dedicated to footsies, ranges, and distance, and attack vectors. Then I'm going to have another episode about pressure and advantage you know, and talk about why advantage is so important, how to apply pressure. I'm going to have a stream followed immediately about that, about mix-ups. Then I'm going to have a, a, a first attack about combos, about hit confirms, about general ideas of how to play defense, etc., etc. So I'm basically going to do almost a cl class course as we go into uh, with the first attack, basically. So. But that's basically the idea for first attack. So I'm going to be talking about fighting games from a very high level concept, from teaching people, and I'm going to try to be a lot more brief. I'm going to probably still use PowerPoint slides and whiteboards and stuff like that. Uh, so this is what I'm trying to do is really lay the found work, foundation, the groundwork for a really comprehensive guide to learning fighting games from a beginner level that's very generic that can apply to multiple fighting games and I will use all the existing fighting games as examples and talk about how uh, these concepts apply to the different fighting games etc etc if this is something that you really really um, want to see and you know want to support me for doing subscriptions donations bits all that stuff will be very, very helpful. Hi. So, uh, that's the plan. That's the plan for 2020. On February 8th or 9th, this Saturday or Sunday, I guarantee you I will be doing a karaoke stream. I guarantee you I will be doing a karaoke stream because it is my birthday coming up very soon. So I will uh, do a karaoke stream for my birthday like I did past years ago when I did the Beatles rock band on my birthday. So that will happen for sure. So keep an eye out this weekend for a karaoke stream, which should be epic, which should be a ton of fun. So thanks guys, thanks guys for watching here, especially for you guys on YouTube. If you guys can't watch any of this live, then catch all the stuff on YouTube. I will be trying to put most of these streams, uh, like the beginner lobbies, like the first attacks and stuff, onto YouTube. I probably won't have time to edit most of it. I'll probably try to edit the first attacks and FGC histories as best as possible, but for the most part, uh, stuff like the lobbies and the Chenzo Dojos will probably just go up as is. But that means expect a lot of content popping up on YouTube as well at youtube.com slash TV. Uh, for those of you here on the Twitch chat, don't go anywhere. I'm going to take a break, and when I come back, I'm going to be talking all about Japan. And uh, I want you guys to ask me all your questions you can about stuff that I did in Japan, what I enjoyed, etc., etc. And we're going to do a little slideshow on the st on my photos that I took of Japan and stuff like that. Should be a lot of fun just to see how that goes. Just follow so you know when these streams go live so you know when all this juicy content is coming your way. Chenzor Dynasty is going to be your ultimate destination for learning fighting games at a beginner level. I'm doing everything I can to get more beginners into fighting games and more beginners to learn how to play fighting games as much as possible. So for those of you on Twitch, don't go anywhere. We're going to come right back with some of the Japan stuff. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out and have a good night. And uh, uh, have a good night out there on YouTube. And I will see you soon.